Okay, so today we're doing a combination of yoga and Pilates. So, did you see that? Can you see my breath? It's chilly. I'm Rebecca, and this is Body Illumination. Welcome. It's chilly outside. It's about um, 29, 28 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about negative 2, negative 3 degrees Celsius. And I am loving this. This is day number two. I am outside with this chorus of birds singing, getting the negative ions and the monoterpenes from the trees. And it's a great way to start your day. It's not quite like a run in the chilly weather because you're not heating up as quickly. And it's not really like the polar bear plant. It's just a chill that goes through you. So I can feel spring wanting to come and I am like, hey, bring it on. It's not quite here yet. But let's start with a nice little flow. If you're interested in more of these videos, please check out bodyillumination.com. Check out our playlist and maybe subscribe and hit that bell. So you'll see our videos that come out every week. Breathe. Breathe. Just take a moment and set your intention. What is it that you want to cultivate in your day today? Let's bring our hands to our heart center and let's chant the sound of home. Okay, great. Now let's come onto our hands and knees. I'm sorry if you can't see my body that great because I'm a little bundled up, but I think you get an idea of what we're supposed to be doing, okay? We're gonna round through the spine and then extend. And again, round and extend. And one more time, round and extend. Now reach your hands forward and then drop your chest into the earth. And then come on up and round and sit all the way back into your child's pose and then lift your hips up. Here's that little woodpecker friend. Love that guy. And bend one knee and the other. And float forward into a high plank. Now we're just going to hang out on a high plank for a little bit. Okay, so I want you to go onto your left hand. Okay, mirror me. Bend the legs and reach up. Now come back through the center. Crisscross your legs, round through the spine. Tuck your chin towards your chest. And then open up, take your fingertips by your hips. So your fingertips are facing forward towards the hips. Lift the heart up. And you're going to drop your feet into the earth and do the same thing. Tuck the tail up, lift the hips. Lower the hips down. They extend one leg out. So let's start with the, the left leg. Lift the hips back up and lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower. And lift and lower. Good. Drop the hips down. Change legs. Press into your left foot. Lift the hips up. down, press both feet into the floor. Now bring the soles of your feet together, reach your arms forward so your fingertips are going in front of your knees. Scoop. 
scoop into the belly and reach your right leg up and your left leg. Now you're using your core to lift the leg. Lift and lower. And lift. Scoop into the belly. Now keep your right leg up and pulse it up. So pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now lower that leg down. Let's go into the left leg. Lift it up. Pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now lengthen through the spine. Grab onto your big toes in a yogic toe lock and lift your legs up. Okay, hold the legs out and squeeze. Let's count for eight, which is about five breaths, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now lower down, crisscross your legs underneath you. Come back onto your hands and knees. Again, rounding through the spine. This time, as you round, I want you to sit back into your hips. And then you stretch your heart forward. Round back. And stretch your heart forward. So your spine loves these undulating movements. And then come on up. Let's stay here and come into a high plank again. So you're gonna mirror me, you should be on your right side, okay? Open up, reach up. Stretch. And then drop down onto that hip, bend your knees, and then stretch up and over. Come on up and change sides. Come on up and change sides. Now stay up. Come back into that high plank. So take both hands down. Press into the high plank. Now we're going to slowly lower down into the earth. Take the hands in front. Open up into a nice little cobra. And then bend your right leg. Reach back for your foot. Reach your left arm forward. Hold and breathe. Now if you want to, you can take it up off the mat. Lower down, let's change sides, okay? Bend your leg, grab onto your other foot, stretch back, lift up. Again, keep your hand and the foot down if you'd like, or lift it up. And lower down. Wiggle your hips from side to side. Now stay here. Lift legs up and keep your heels. Eight, seven, six, five. Head down. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Wiggle out your hips from side to side. Then bend your knees. Bring your big toes to touch. Again, pubic bone down, core lifted. Head down and lift. Eight, seven, six. I'm watching you. Try to keep your head relaxed and your head down, okay? Good. Now keep them up. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And lower down. Good. Wiggle over your hips. Stretch all the way back. Ooh. And roll yourself up to sit. Now crisscross your legs underneath you. I don't know why I'm whispering. Nobody's around except the birds, but it's nice to listen to 
Now come onto your back. Take your right knee in towards your chest and pull, pull, and pull, pull. Outside hand to your ankle, inside hand to your knee. Pull, pull, and pull, pull. Look down at your belly. Pull, 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 and pull, pull. Now drop your head down and look from side to side. Okay, take the legs up into the sky, bring the heels together, the toes to touch, and you're gonna keep the lower back lengthening with a nice natural arch. If you need to, you can imprint. And then lift up. And again, lower, lower, lower. Nice and slow, lift, lift. Lower, lower, lower. Lift, lift, lift. And again, lower, lower, lower. And lift, lift, lift. Keep that navel in towards your spine. Lower, lower, lower. And lift, lift, lift. Now, interlace your fingers. Take them behind your head. Lift your head and shoulders. Loop into the core. And lower, lower, lower. Lift, lift, lift. And lower, lower, lower. And lift, lift, lift. One more. Lower, lower, lower. Now, hold them there. Chin towards your chest, look at your belly. Do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees, lower your head. Take your head, look from side to side. Rock yourself up. Tuck your chin towards your chest, wrap your arms around your legs. Rock back, and rock up, and rock back, and rock up. Good, now let's keep those feet off the mat as you rock from rolling like a ball. Okay, now stay up. Stay here. Take your forearms back. And you're going to bring the heels together for a frog. Okay? Press and bend. And press and bend. Lati, can you get out of the way? <laughs> Push my pumpkin pie. Good. <laughs> and press. That's Bachi. She wants to get in the frame. Press. And press. And press. And press. Now keep your heart open. Really important. Keep the heart open. And press. And press. Good. Now from here, bend the knees. Come onto your back. Side. Okay, I want you to take eagle legs, cross the right leg over the left, squeeze the legs together. So if you don't want to do that, you're welcome to just keep the legs stacked like this, okay? And you're going to drop the legs to your left and look to your right. Oh boy, my toes are so chilly. And let's change sides. the backs of your legs and rock yourself into a seated position. Stay here and then crisscross your legs underneath you. We're going to come into a high plank and hang out in a high plank for a moment. Okay, so either bend your knees, drop them down, or keep your legs straight. You're going to bend your elbows, come and hover into a low plank and then press back up. Let's do that again. Bend and press up. So it's like a Pilates push-up or, or just moving through Chaturanga. Around, bend, bend, and press up. And then stretch all the way back. Reach your arms behind you. Open the heart. And then come on your knees and tuck your toes under. Open up the feet in toes pose. So we're keeping the heart open. Hands are behind you if that's accessible. And just open the feet up. The connective tissue in your feet 
affects your cervical spine. So it affects your whole body. So the fascia in your feet affects your whole body. So open up that, that musculature, the connective tissue, the fascia. Breathe into it. Uh, take a big sigh. And then release it. Take your hands forward. Untuck the toes. We are going to stay here with the toes untucked. Lift your knees up. And lower. And lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. And lift. And hold. Now pull the right knee in. And drop the foot. Keep the knee lifted. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. And left. And drop down. Good. Now go back into that toes pose and tuck the toes. This time come into the full expression with the knees lifted and balance. My feet are a little numb, so I don't know if this is quite as effective. And drop the hands down, drop the knees down. Just cross your legs underneath you. Let's take the legs out in front of us. Lift the arms up into the sky. Inhale, take a breath. Exhale, bow. Now inhale, lengthen through your spine, get long. And then exhale, start to lengthen, 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 and lower, maybe. Try to keep the spine nice and long, though, okay? So we're not rounding through the spine. Try to find that extension. all the way up to sit. Crisscross your legs. Take a moment. We're going to just quiet ourselves here in a seated meditation. You're welcome to take Shavasana. You're welcome to race out the door if you have to. But just take a moment and think about your intention as we end our practice and our repertoire this morning. hands back to your heart center. Let's seal with the sound of home. Uh... Namaste, namaste, my yogi friends, my Pilates friends. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me.